Leach, who gets the call. He had it last night, took the L, but he looks for the W this afternoon. Yeah, 3.28 goals against average, 8.90 save percentage. He'll be looking to get to the top of his crease, redirect rebounds to the corner, give his team a chance early in this game because you know on the other side, the Marlies will be looking to dictate pace. And of course, it'll be led by saves by Wall. Wall, of course, 50th game for him as a Marley this evening, 10th all time, seven feet behind Chris Gibson. So wishing him a great one today. Far side, Rubens, in through to Semyana. Hollowell again, Steves goes to the goal, picked up, scores! Chris James Rubens! Grabs up the rebound and puts it by Amanda Lease, and the Marlies open the scoring. In one game, they were able to make up a fair bit of ground on power play opportunities. Alex Steves gets that one back. Got a penalty coming up to the center, but here comes Steves working in. Shoots, starts. Alex Steves absolutely nails it to the back of the net. His first American Hockey League goal in just his second game. Back it comes to the blue line. Sokoloff, the shot, driving into the goal, and they push it in, and the Senators answer back as they crowd the crease and push it by Joseph Wall. Dusak, again, back up off the boards, looking over for Steves, finding him, to the goal, Alex Steves! On the power play. 3-1 Marley's as Steves picks up his second goal of the game. And now it's going to skate to it and move it quickly, but he finds Hosang way up ice. Josh Hosang with the break on the backhand. Scores! Josh Hosang does it again. 4-1 with 3.35 remaining. Sharp out front, shot scores! Bobby McMahon with a dart at the top of the goal. And he puts the Marlies up 5-1, two quick goals. Randstrom, this one comes to Rukini, takes the shot and off the shoulder of Wall. There's another one and the Senators answer back as they put some pressure on and Lucchini is able to come away with the goal to make it 5-2. Picked up by Brandstrom. He had a mind there just to send it down the <laughs> ice, but he realized uh, that may have touched off something that they didn't want to handle. Wow. And the Marlies come up with the victory, 5-2. Yeah, and out shooting their opponents, 38-22. to And since last season, the Marlies are 14-0-1 when leading after two periods, and they were able to close today.